What if I told you that China may have just changed the future of the global tech industry? In the past few months, a major breakthrough has come out of China's largest chip manufacturer, a company called SMIC, or Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. They've been working hard to develop something called 2-nanometer chip technology, which is one of the most advanced and difficult technologies in the world. And now it seems they've done it. But the biggest surprise? They did it without using any equipment from the United States or other Western countries, something experts thought was impossible. To understand why this is such a big deal, we need to look at how the world of chips, or semiconductors, usually works. For decades, the most advanced chips have come from a few key players. Taiwan's TSMC is widely considered the leader in advanced chip making. Companies like Apple, NVIDIA, and AMD all depend on TSMC to make the tiny, powerful chips used in smartphones, computers, and AI systems. And to build those chips, companies like TSMC rely on extremely specialized machines, some of the most complex machines ever made. These machines mostly come from the United States and the Netherlands. American companies like Applied Materials, LAM Research, and KLA provide many of the tools needed to build chips. But perhaps the most important company is ASML, based in the Netherlands. ASML builds a machine called an EUV lithography system, which uses extreme ultraviolet light to etch incredibly small patterns onto silicon wafers. Without ASML's EUV machines, it's almost impossible to build cutting-edge chips smaller than 5 or 3 nanometers. Because of this, the U.S. and its allies have placed strict rules to prevent China from buying these machines. These export controls were meant to stop China from making the most advanced chips, especially chips that could be used in military or AI applications. The belief was simple. Without access to the world's best tools, China would fall behind in the chip race. But now that belief is being questioned. SMIC appears to have found a way around the blockade. They've built their own tools, developed their own materials, and created their own chip-making process. And it looks like it actually works. This didn't happen overnight. SMIC has been working quietly with very little public information. They don't publish roadmaps like TSMC or Samsung. But experts have been watching closely. Patent filings, supply chain data job postings, and even satellite images of their factories have helped paint a picture of what's going on. In Shanghai, SMIC has built new clean rooms, the special dust-free environments where chips are made. They've installed machines that don't match anything from the West. Many believe these machines are made by local Chinese companies such as Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment, SME, and AMEC. These companies have been working on Chinese alternatives to the tools that usually come from the U.S. and Europe. Even more interesting, SMIC seems to be using different methods than the rest of the industry. Instead of using EUV, they are trying something called multi-patterning, where multiple steps are used to create tiny features on the chip. They are also experimenting with new etching processes, methods for carving out the chip's structure. But SMIC didn't stop at just building new tools. They've also developed new materials that are needed to make advanced chips. For example, special light-sensitive chemicals called photoresists are needed during the lithography step. China's researchers, working with top universities, have created their own versions of these chemicals. They've also developed advanced etching gases and ultra-pure chemicals, materials that used to come mostly from Western suppliers. One of the most impressive things about SMIC's approach is how they're using software and AI to improve the chip-making process. Making chips at this small scale requires incredible precision. Even tiny flaws can ruin a batch. MIC is using AI to control the process in real time, making adjustments on the fly to improve quality and reduce waste. This kind of smart manufacturing could help them make chips faster, better, and cheaper, even without the latest Western equipment. There's also the talent factor. According to several reports, SMIC has been hiring experienced engineers from top companies like TSMC, Samsung, and even U.S. firms. These engineers bring valuable knowledge about advanced chip making. But instead of just copying old methods, SMIC has encouraged them to rethink the entire process. In some cases, they've even tried to come up with completely new solutions to problems that other companies solved years ago, using today's technology and ideas. There are rumors about a secret project inside SMIC, possibly called Project Phoenix. No one knows exactly what it involves, but some say it may be using quantum computing to improve chip manufacturing.
Others think it could involve work with China's space agency to make ultra-tough chips that can survive radiation in space, a sign that military or satellite use could be part of the plan. On top of everything else, SMIC has built a local supply chain for the rare earth metals, specialty gases, and other materials needed to make advanced chips. This is something most experts believed would take China many more years to achieve. But if the reports are true, SMI has already solved many of these problems. One of their biggest innovations is something they're calling adaptive node technology. Normally, chip factories are set up to build one kind of chip at a time. Changing the setup can be expensive and time-consuming. But SMIC's new process can adjust to build different types of chips. For high performance, low power use, or special purposes, all in the same factory. That kind of flexibility could save a lot of money and allow faster development of new products. SMIC is also changing how chips are designed. Most companies design a chip first, then figure out how to manufacture it. But SMIC is designing chips that match their unique manufacturing methods. This creates a loop where design and production help improve each other. It also speeds up innovation and could lead to more powerful chips in less time. Some early tests suggest SMIC's two nanometers chips may be more efficient and use less power than those made by TSMC. And because SMIC is using its own tools and materials, the cost could be much lower. They're already working on even smaller chips, possibly 1.4 nanometers, and might release them by 2026. If they can produce these chips at scale, it will impact many industries, including smartphones, AI data centers, electric vehicles, and even national defense. There are also big environmental benefits. Traditional chip making uses a lot of energy and water. SMIC's process appears to use less power and may produce fewer emissions, possibly reducing the environmental impact of chip factories by up to 40%. This achievement is more than just a win for China. It changes the global balance of power and technology. For years, the U.S. controlled the most advanced chip technology. That control gave it economic and strategic power. Now China may no longer be limited by Western exports. In fact, it may have leapfrogged traditional methods entirely. Tech companies, investors, and governments are all watching closely. Stock prices of big equipment makers like ASML, LAM Research, and Applied Materials are already reacting. Chip designers are wondering how they can compete in a world where SMIC may offer powerful, low-cost chips made entirely within China. This is just the beginning. SMIC's breakthrough shows that global tech leadership can shift, and fast. Other countries and companies will need to adapt or risk being left behind. So what does this mean for you? Whether you're an investor, engineer, developer, business owner, or simply someone who uses tech every day, your future could be shaped by this shift. The smartphones we use, the cars we drive, the internet we connect to, all depend on chips. And now, the way those chips are made is changing. If you found this story helpful or eye-opening, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth looks at the technologies shaping our future. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you surprised by this news? Do you see this as a threat, an opportunity, or both? The chip race has entered a new phase, and staying informed has never been more important.